guys, before I start, I just want to get one thing out of the way. It's called Ghostbusters. <laughs> Not Lady <laughs> Ghostbusters. <laughs> no, no, no. It doesn't stop there. First they made the Ghostbusters women. Next thing you know, they keep Charlie's Angels as women. Where does it start? Uh, so... That was a joke. We call those jokes. Uh, I'm Mitch. I am from New England. Uh, and in order to get here, early this morning, I had to take a train into Boston first. And at the station, I ran into the mom of an old friend. And uh, she saw me, and she came up to me, and she was like, Oh, you must be going to your internship. I was like, no. Coming here to do stand-up. Comedy. I did have an internship earlier this year, and um, I remember one morning, a girl came in, one of the other interns, and she said, oh my god, guys. The Uber driver who brought me here told me I looked like Jennifer Lawrence. He asked to take a selfie. It was kind of creepy. And I was like, oh my god, no way, that's so funny, haha. -ha. <laughs> Downplaying the humble brag. So lunchtime comes, I have to go get lunch. I go to this grill where they're making it, and I have to wait a little bit, so I sit at the bar for a bit. And after waiting for just a little, little like a couple minutes, the guy next to me just goes, So who do you fly with? <laughs> what? You're a pilot, right? No, I'm not, a, I'm not a pilot. Oh, you look like a pilot. Why? Is, is this a place pilots come to? Nah, you just look like a pilot. And I don't know how to, because that's not a bad thing. It's not necessarily a positive thing unless you see it in the right light. So I decided to take it as a compliment. I get the food, I go back, and I decide, okay, I'm gonna tell everyone this great story. They're gonna think I'm so funny, it's gonna be great. So I say, hey guys, this guy at the place where I got the food, he said I looked like a pilot for no reason. How, how weird is that? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. So we're eating for a little bit, and then suddenly, the girl from this morning, she speaks up and she's like, did I tell you guys that the Uber driver <laughs> thought I looked like Jennifer Lawrence? He wanted to take a selfie, it was kind of weird. And I was like, oh my god, haha, -ha, that's so funny. And in my head I'm like, okay, let's think about this. I was compared to a pilot. Somebody who defies the laws of nature, who takes fermented dinosaur blood, shoves it into a jet engine, and then just goes up into the clouds. You were compared to a girl who falls a lot. <laughs> Who's the winner, I ask you? <laughs> um, so I actually realized recently that a lot of my friends right now are in relationships, and I know what you guys are thinking. Mitch, did you start a playlist on Spotify called Sad? <laughs> Yeah, but it's good. Uh, before any of you judge me too quickly, by the way, I should put out there that I lost my virginity to a doctor. And by doctor, I mean she was dressed up as a Grey's Anatomy character for Halloween. But I, if I'm compared to a pilot, that's basically a doctor. Um, yeah, she was dressed up as the Sandra O oh character. And she's white. I should have maybe taken that as a warning sign for a, for a relationship that was built on lies and benign racism. <laughs> it's funny, before, before I lost my virginity, everyone kept telling me, like, don't make a big deal out of it. It's really not that big a thing. You're the same person afterwards. Don't build it up too much. And I thought, okay, they're just trying to make me feel better. It is that big a deal. But then it happened, and they were kind of right. I kind of felt like more or less the same person. And I don't remember actually feeling cool about what happened until about a week afterwards. And I remember what happened. 
I was walking up to a building, and there was this girl in front of it. She was holding the door open, but at the same time, she was carrying this really large, probably heavy box. So she's doing that and holding the door open at the same time, lets me in, I say thank you. And after walking for a bit, I think, hey, I got laid last weekend. <laughs> I got a little bob in my head, a little pep in my step. And then I think, wait a minute. I just saw a woman struggling with a task. And that made me think of me having sex. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna close things out with an old joke. Uh, you know how people sometimes say like, oh, this thing is like my crack, or oh, such and such is like heroin to me. I really oft, oft, often wonder if heroin addicts shoot up and then they say to themselves, oh, this shit's like my double stuffed Oreos. <laughs> Just scrape the cream off the wafer. Forget about the pain for a little while. All right, thank you guys so much.